Welcome to East U Masters Training Part 29. In this video, we're going to take a look at working with our flex fuel tuning feature. Now, flex fuel control is going to allow us to add a flex fuel sensor to our fuel system, and we're going to be adding it on the return line of our fuel system. It's going to be able to monitor how much ethanol content is in our fuel. It's going to allow us to go from anywhere from 0% ethanol or pure pump gas, 91, 93 octane, all the way up to pure ethanol at 98%. And anything in between, we're going to be delivering the proper fuel spark and boost if we're a turbocharged engine using boost control through our ECU Master software. It's actually a relatively simple process in order to work with the flex fuel, but there's a lot of details we need to make sure are correct in order to make sure it's implemented properly. So without further wait, let's jump into this video so we can check all this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with our flex fuel tuning feature in our EMU Black software. Now, before we jump into the training tutorial, make sure you have your flex fuel tuning page layout open. You can follow along with what I have in our training video here. You're able to find that under desktops, open desktops template, then here under our flex fuel option. So make sure you select this. I'll click cancel because I already have it loaded onto my screen right now and we're ready to begin our training tutorial. So first thing you're gonna be noticing is that we have all of our page layouts here, these individual pages. These are all gonna be designated with flex and then they're gonna have a letter after that. That's going to be designating what we're gonna be doing for that particular page for a tuning feature. So in this first page, the flex S, this S represents setup and starting fuel or cranking fuel. We're gonna find we have a page here dedicated to after start fuel or flex A. We have another page here dedicated to warm up enrichment, so flex W. Another page here for flex fuel, this is gonna be our volumetric efficiency tables. We're gonna have a page dedicated here for the lambda, flex lambda. We have flex spark, and then we have here flex boost. And then we have here flex, flex miscellaneous. This is gonna be our miscellaneous table here with the RPM limit override, and we'll talk about what that's going to be much later in the video here. So we'll find that this is gonna be a pretty specific tuning page layout that you're gonna use only for flex fuel control. So if you're not gonna be flex fuel based, don't worry about even pulling this up. Um, if you're gonna be just tuning on 91 or 93 octane, or if you're gonna be just tuning on just E85 or E98 or methanol or another fuel where you're not gonna be using the actual flex fuel sensor and needing to access these tables. This will just be for flex fuel specific control. So now that we went over the page layout here, let's talk about what we have on screen and then we'll move into talking about what flex fuel actually represents and then start to go and set up our flex fuel control here and take a look at all of our pages here and things that we need to know in order to implement this properly. So on this page, we're gonna find we have our flex fuel window. This is all of our live data here related to the flex fuel sensor and the content level and any kind of actual blend and biasing it's gonna be doing. We can notice at the top here, flex fuel sensor frequency. It's zero right now. The EMU Black doesn't know what to do with the signal as it's being fed in. So right now it's just gonna be set at zero. And uh, flex fuel content will be zero because the input here is just zero. And then all of our corrections here are gonna be basically zeroed out. So right now it doesn't know that even if I've wired in my flex fuel sensor, it doesn't know what's going on with it because it's not actually triggered on to take a look at that pin and know what to do with it. We're also going to have our fueling parameters here, everything related to all of our fuel calculations. We're able to see what our injector pulse with here is based on our main VE table which we're gonna be assuming is gonna be tuned on 91 or 93 octane to start off our flex fuel control. We're also gonna have our basic sensor information that we always wanna keep track of. We have our fuel active correction. We can see what's gonna be applied or not. Right now we can see it's showing warm up and corrections being applied. So we see yes right there. We're also finding the enrichments, what's going on with any of our actual enrichments here. We can see the warm up enrichments applying 1%. It's 101 right now, so it's actually adding 1% fuel. So um, we can keep track of all of that live data. Now, we also have our parameters here. This is gonna be our setup and configuration for the actual flex fuel tuning. We're also going to have a table switching feature. We need to go and configure. We'll talk about what this represents. It's going to be related to our blending tables here. We also have our- Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you wanna go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here, and you don't wanna miss any of the videos we're gonna be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.